on guys we are back once again and we are going to be discussing another first thoughts of lopez versus lopez season three now funny enough i did not know this was going to be ending season three i had no idea um so i'm a little late to this i had no idea it was going to be beginning season three uh due to i heard there was issues trying to get a season three but in the first two episodes, in all honesty, I enjoyed the second episode more than I did the first one. The first episode was more of um, Mayan and now her fiancé wanting to plan the wedding. And, of course, George and her mom are wanting to be very involved. And they're not wanting to have a certain wedding. They're wanting to do it their way. And things get all crazy and jumbled. And then the second episode is where... It was a Halloween episode slash uh, Cinco de Mayo where they were celebrating and um, Chance was not wanting to do the things that they were wanting to do. And then also George was seeing um, his you know, deceased grandmother and also other relatives and to show that he's a different person, that he's trying to change from going to AA, not drinking and not doing this and working and trying to do better and be a part of his daughter's life and be a part of his grandson's life. Was a really funny episode, especially the way he was coming about. He was coming across too strong, but it was still very funny. And then seeing the whole thing with um his dead relatives, especially when he played his grandmother, which she played his grandmother in um the original series that was George uh, Lopez. Uh, George Lopez played as Benny's mother, so I thought that was very funny because it took me a while to realize that that was the same actress. But overall, I'm still enjoying Lopez versus Lopez. There's times where it does get a little bit corny, um, but I'll overlook it because I love George Lopez. I think he's a great comedian, great character, or great actor. Let me phrase that. Great actor, great comedian. And I'm willing to overlook the corny stuff. And again, like I've been saying on a lot of these reviews or first thoughts for um, some of these comedy series or live action series, it takes a while for... I guess the, the season to either get going or a new series to get going. And sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm actually surprised that we have gotten a season three, uh, due to, I think that season two, if they did end it like that, it would end it on a decent, um, mark but overall i'm glad we are getting a season three and i'm waiting to see what else we're going to be seeing further into the series depending on how long they go further into the story now again hopefully they don't try to drag it out too long to where it's going to be you know silly stupid slash okay hey this don't make sense and it actually makes sense for the story of why it's still going on and also how it ends and it makes sense while it ends stuff like that so but overall i'm enjoying the series and i'm glad to see it back and i'm glad that the actors and the actresses are still getting paid for their dues and being able to have fun and being able to bring us this entertainment but what do you guys think about this let me know down in the comments hope you guys are enjoying lopez versus lopez if you guys are reviewing it or you guys watching it either way let me know your thoughts and i'll see you on the next one